So tonight's my last night. Before. Ever. <laughs> I think when I was working on holiday displays at Anthropology in Santa Monica, I started listening to Hamilton because I was sick of music and I was sick of podcasts. And so I started Hamilton and I really liked it. And I couldn't stop listening to it for like two months or something crazy. And so Paula told me about the Hamilton app where you can enter to get tickets. And so she and I were both entering to win tickets. And this morning she called me up. This is Monday morning. And she said, Allie, guess what? I got tickets to Hamilton. <laughs> and then found out that the show was tomorrow. I called to make sure it'd be okay if I could come into work a little later on Wednesday. Matt and Paula looked online at flights and tickets and got two tickets to go to Salt Lake City. And I'm going to Hamilton tomorrow and I'm really excited. And to celebrate, we're making pizza. <laughs> We've never tried this before. I've like totally destroyed the box, but it's from Trader Joe's that's so cauliflower pizza crust. And I thought, cause I've made a cauliflower pizza crust before, but it called for a lot of Parmesan cheese. But this one doesn't have any cheese in it. It's cauliflower, corn flour, potato starch, olive oil, and salt. So that should be a great mixture. We got sauce to put on it. Yummy. Some cremini mushrooms. Black olives, my favorite, as you know. I'm gonna put this whole can on there. And then we got some fresh basil. I was looking for Italian parsley at Trader Joe's and, I mean, Trader Giotto's, and they don't have Italian parsley. They just have like the crinkly kind of parsley. It's not the same, doesn't have the same potency. So we just got some basil and it smells so good. Mmm. So I'm leaving tomorrow morning super early on the airplane. Then we're leaving the next morning. So I just got tons of snacks for myself. Even though I don't eat this many snacks in one day, I got handfuls of happy trekking, almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cranberries, and cherries. I love trail mix that has chocolate in it. So I got this flip. These are my favorite almonds from Trader Joe's. I just, for some reason, really love truffle oil. Matt says it tastes like motor oil, but I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. These are really salty too, so a little goes a long way. That's why I got two packages. <laughs> <laughs> I got these bars for um, breakfast each morning. I got a few of these. <laughs> Which I probably shouldn't eat all of this in one day, but... Hey, little kitty. Can you smell it? Oh, that smells good. Mm. So I got... These are Go Macro Bars. Sunflower butter, chocolate. They're vegan, soy-free, non-GMO. It's just got a lot of good stuff in it. Like, all that stuff. Brown rice syrup, sprouted flax, coconut sugar. This one is peanut butter and chocolate chip. So those will be fun. And then I am taking a penny. Taking pen and this giant bag of banana chips. This is another version of those Marcona almonds I like. And it, I think this tastes like Thanksgiving dinner because it's got rosemary. <laughs> And then just mango slices. I like these ones because they don't have sugar in them. So I'm trying to do like a balance of some snacks with no salt and no sugar and then other ones that are totally loaded with it. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, this. we got this for our pizza too. It's tofu sausage. Oh, bye Penny. Penny is exploring. Welcome back. 
We're gonna be visiting Matt's grandma in Utah. So we got her a sweet little flowery card and some saltwater taffy. That's kind of a family joke. Penny like it. Penny, give a little kiss. So we're gonna brown the garlic just a little bit. You don't wanna overcook it because then it will taste bitter. I learned that from my mom too. I just want everyone to see Matt. Hi, I'm Matt. And his sweatshirt. Here's the front. And there's the back. Where is it from? Kuyatama, Japan. It's from Japan. what I'm packing for my day and my night and my morning. First of all, I hear it's gonna be around 50 to 60 degrees and maybe a chance of rain. So I wanna pack something that can be kind of warm and I chose something fancy for the theater. This is a jacket I splurged on for Christmas and it reminds me of my grandma because she wore leopard print like this. And I feel like I'm on Broadway when I'm wearing it. So I'm bringing this with me. I'm wearing a jumpsuit to the airport. I figured that'd be a pretty easy outfit option. I'm also bringing this other jumpsuit that I also got from Piper and Scoot. And it's just a cutie little polka dot jumpsuit that I'm gonna wear boots with. And I can layer, if I need, if it's going to be really cold, with this American Apparel short sweater. I'm going to Hamilton. This is my dress I'm going to wear to Hamilton. It's from a thrift store. I like the colors in it. And it cinches here at the waist. And I was either going to wear these sparkly earrings for the theater or this necklace. I'm leaning a little bit towards the sparkly earrings because when else am I going to wear these sparkly, sparkly earrings? But I'll just have to see when I put my outfit on in the hotel room. And then I have an ultra emergency outfit. If I just feel like I need to have fun, fun, fun at the airport the next morning. You guys, I'm so excited for Hamilton tomorrow. I've been waiting for this for months and it's here, it's happening, it's tomorrow and I hope I have everything I need for my one day there. <laughs> 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 